During artificial salmon breeding, workers cut open the female fish to extract the eggs, then squeeze sperm from the male fish to fertilize the eggs. This raises the question, why not squeeze the eggs from a live female salmon instead of killing it? The primary reason is that manually extracting eggs requires highly specialized skills. Workers must accurately determine the timing of the female's maturity and handle the fish with extreme care to avoid injury or even death. Even if the fish survives, repeated egg extraction can compromise its health and reproductive ability. Additionally, hatcheries often process thousands of salmon daily, and using the slaughter and extraction method significantly improves efficiency and ensures the smooth operation of the breeding process. Moreover, many species of Pacific salmon, such as chum salmon and coho salmon, naturally die shortly after spawning. Artificial breeding essentially mimics this natural process. Salmon eggs are also extremely delicate, and any slight mishandling during manual extraction can cause the eggs to rupture, reducing fertilization success rates. In conservation programs or scientific research involving endangered species, extracting eggs from live fish is still necessary as it minimizes the impact on the overall salmon population.